Hello everyone, Dr. Kimball here. I'm gonna go over the top three most important questions that you should ask your spine surgeon, okay? So you wanna be educated, you wanna know, um, I'm going to see the doctor, I don't know if I need surgery, you're probably super apprehensive and anxious about the possibility of having surgery. On the other hand, you may be like, I know I need surgery, this has gotta get fixed. Um, I hope the doctor thinks that he can fix it. You also need to be educated and need to know what what uh, what to ask? Okay, so <clears throat> the first one I'm gonna ask, I'm gonna tell you to ask is, doc, and, and you might feel a little bit anxious about asking your doctor about this, but whatever he recommends, it, whether it's uh, microdiscectomy, laminectomy, fusion, laminoplasty, disc replacement, what whatever it is, I want you to ask the doctor how many of these procedures have you done? Okay, this gets at basically, are you experienced in doing this procedure? it'd be nice to know that the doctor has done at least a couple hundred, okay, of that type of procedure. The number two question that I think you should ask your doctor is, if he, he or she has recommended one approach, you might ask them, doctor, is this the only way that you could consider treating this option, or is there another way to treat it, okay? That's, a, I think, a brilliant question because there's always another way. And if your doctor tells you that there isn't another way, you need to start asking even more questions, okay? There are literally 100 different ways to do the same procedure in spine surgery. There's neuros neurosurgical spine, there's orthopedic spine. There's lots of different approaches and, and lots of different modes of thought. Personally, I pride myself on being able to come 360 degrees, offer every maximally invasive and every minimally invasive, every motion sparing option and every fusion option. You wanna be able to make sure that your doctor can and is capable and experienced enough to provide and think about every option. If all you have is a hammer, then everything looks like a nail and you just run around hitting nails, right? So you want your doctor to have every tool in his tool belt so that he can apply those to you because you're one unique customized patient and your surgical plan should be customized to you. So the third and final most important question for you to ask your spine surgeon is, this is already on your mind and you're thinking about asking it and you want to know this, uh, you want to know the answer to this, but you're just not sure you should ask it, you should ask it. Doctor, if this was your spine, would you undergo this procedure. If this was your mother or your father or your brother or sister, would you recommend them going forward with this same procedure that you've recommended to me? And when you ask that question, you gotta look that doctor in the eye and you gotta, you gotta believe that whatever they tell you is that, that they're being honest with you, okay? If it's this big, long spinal construct with rods and screws and big fusion, and, um, and they can honestly say that they wouldn't go through that procedure, then you, maybe it's not the right procedure, and maybe that's not the right doctor for you, okay? Now, it's always gonna be hard for your doctor to relate 100% to what you're going through, and they may um, put a disclaimer on their commentary or their recommendation that they don't know exactly how you feel, but that's also an honest opinion, and, and you gotta appreciate that and put it all in context with the recommendation that they're making. At the end of the day, you need to trust that your doctor has your best interest in mind, wants you to be you know, achieve the goals that you're trying to achieve and is putting you in control of your care, okay? If you're in control and you feel educated and you have enough information to feel comfortable with what's being done and that the doctor that you're working with, your surgeon, is experienced enough, capable enough, and comfortable enough providing multiple options and tailoring that surgical approach to what you need and what is best for you, then, then I think that's a perfect fit in doctor-patient relationship.